Can you believe Easter's just a few short weeks away? Well, I for one am so ready for spring and spring means it's time for me to switch up my little coffee station area here. Don't get me wrong, I have really enjoyed this adorable little winter scene that I've had here for the last couple of months, but it's time I, yeah, I need to change this up so that I'll be Easter ready. So over here, I have gathered up a whole bunch of things from my stash. I have no idea what direction this is gonna end up going or if I'm gonna be using all of these things. Probably not, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, but yeah, so if you wanna see how I go about switching up my little coffee station here, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stick around. So before we get started, I kinda of wanna set the mood here a little bit and I wanna show you in case you're not aware of this feature here. Um, if you just search on YouTube, uh, free Easter wallpaper, you can come up with some really adorable, you can do this either on your, like I've got this little Google Home Mini here in my kitchen. You can do it on your TV, you can do it on your phone, you can do it on your tablet. Look at these adorable little scenes. Oh my goodness, there are so many to pick from. So I'm just gonna choose maybe, let's see here. This one's really sweet. And look at this adorable little image here. So. If you've got this on your TV, look at this. It's like a framed picture, vintage picture that you can have showing in your living room. It looks so, so cute. And just a great, easy way to set any kind of mood. And I think it's a perfect little addition um, for my Easter corner here and my coffee station. Before I can do anything though, I'm gonna have to take all of this down. This is a perfect opportunity for me to clean up my appliances here. I'm actually going to descale my coffee pot. I don't even remember the last time I did that. Um, I can just give everything a nice deep clean and get the countertops nice and tidy as well. And yeah, so just going to take all of these little bits and pieces away here. And I'm gonna put all my little Christmas trees back into my <laughs> Christmas bins. So they'll be all ready for me when I need those. And yeah, all this faux snow kind of tends to get everywhere, but yeah, it feels so good to get this all cleaned up. So I've got my blank slate here all ready to go. My coffee maker's been wiped down and my frother and my tray is all nice and clean as well. So first thing I like to do is I kind of like to have a look at my pieces and I like to start with the kind of bigger ones. So I've got this really adorable little teapot here. I actually found this many years ago at Valley Village. It's actually a little bank. Isn't that cute? Anyhow, so I'm going to start with this. I think this will look nice down kind of here. The next piece also came from Valley Village. It might have been around the same time that I found this one actually. And it also is a bank. <laughs> and I've had this piece for a really long time as well. So I think this one, will it fit? Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. It was like it was made for this tray. Perfect. And then this next one, I actually recently picked this up on a recent haul from Dollarama. This was $5. I just thought this was so sweet. I only wish that it kind of lit up or it had a hole in the bottom so that I could put some lights in here, but it doesn't. But anyway, I do want to use this and I think this will work well kind of up in here somewhere. So now that I've kind of got my three main pieces, I can just start building and adding from here. This piece here actually came from Dollarama as well a few years back. They have some really, really cute wooden decor pieces for all the different seasons. And I just love this one with the little eggs here that spell out Easter. So I'm just actually going to tuck this in the back. Um, I know a lot of people have commented years <laughs> over the years that, you know what, you put stuff back there and you can't see it. You know what, I just like to fill up all of the areas and I put my more favorite things towards the front, obviously, so that I can see them. So I've been collecting items for a long time and Value Village is a really, really great source for finding just all these really cool little seasonal items. This one also, Value Village. Um, I'm starting to sound like a little bit of a broken record. I love this one. Look at these little adorable little bunny slippers. Oh my gosh, so cute. So I use this one quite often in my decorating. It's so cute. It just kind of sits on the edge of wherever you want to put it. These two adorable little vintage looking bunnies also came from Value Village. I've had these for a long time as well. That's how I like to kind of build my, my stash. <laughs> it's just over the years, just kind of finding as I go. Um, a lot of times you can get things on really super clearance, um, like places like HomeSense, Marshalls, Winners. You can pick up some really great deals as well after the holidays. So I'm just gonna, let's see, maybe put that one there. Tuck this little guy up here. Awesome, that's a good start. 
So I picked these adorable little trees up on a recent trip to Dollar Tree. I thought they were so cute. I love how pastel they are with the little eggs and everything on them. I think they're so sweet. So let's see. We'll put this one up in here because it kind of goes with the blue theme I've got going on. And then maybe this one. Let's see. We'll tuck that in there like that. So I picked these up. I think I might have found these at Hobby Lobby in their uh, fairy garden section years ago. I thought I would just maybe tuck these in here. Kind of goes along with our little Easter bunny theme. I believe this one also came from Hobby Lobby. This is one of my favorites. Look at this adorable little seesaw. These little bunnies are so stinking cute. We'll put him down here. Those little guys look cute right there. And then I like to kind of fill in with some different little trees. If you've got some Christmas trees kind of kicking around, if you haven't put them all away yet, or go ahead and dig them out of your, out of your Christmas bins. These are great for just kind of filling in any areas that might be kind of sparse. I like to use the white ones for Easter. And then I've got these kind of little disco balls here. I thought they were really cute. I found these at Dollarama a while back as well. So I'm just going to place a few of these again just to fill in some gaps like here, maybe one in here. There we go. So once I kind of think I've got everything where I kind of want it, I'm actually going to put this into position. I'm just going to push this all the way to the back of my counter here. And then I can tweak things a little if I can't see them very well. This is where I like to kind of just come back and just move things around a little bit till it looks good to me. So I'm really happy with the way the tiered tray came out. And you know what? I could totally just leave things alone as they are. Um, but you've been watching me, you know that I couldn't you know, resist using up some of this other space on the counter. So I have this adorable little sign. I believe this came from Dollar Tree a few years back. I just thought that was so sweet. So I'm just gonna put this little bunny sign kind of right about there. And then I kind of want to just fill in some of these sparse areas. Of course, my coffee maker needs a mug. This one I actually picked up after Easter. I think it might have been the day or two after Easter. I went to HomeSense and that is the perfect time to go, you guys. Um, you can find some amazing deals. This is a Ray Dunn mug, and I believe I only paid like $4 for this mug. So that was a great find. I love the bunny, and I love that it's kind of dual-sided here. Um, it says here, bunny love. And so I'm just going to put that right there with the bunny facing out. And then I'm just going to add a few more of these little trees um, in a few spots. But before I do that, I'm going to share with you this adorable little mug topper that I made oh, a few years back. Um, I'll put the link to the video on how to, I made these. This is actually made out of caulking. Um, I used a caulking gun and I just used this. Um, it's got cardboard on the bottom I measured to kind of fit the mug. And these turned out so stinking cute and they were so much fun to make. So you might want to go check that video out. Um, if you want to make these adorable little Easter mug toppers as well, you can do them in all different colors. I've made a few over the years. So anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and just put this on top of my Radon mug. And this I'm going to just put right back in here, like so. And then I think I'm just going to put a few of these little bottle brush trees to just kind of fill in some of these areas. And I think we're just about done. That like that. Maybe that guy there. A couple more of these little trees here. I think I'm needing something over here. And one more. And then I have these adorable little chocolate looking little bunnies. I found these at Dollarama. Don't they look very realistic to you? Oh my gosh, like you could almost eat these. <laughs> um, anyhow, these I think will be cute just to kind of just fill in a couple of gaps here. Snug that up a little bit. And maybe one more right there. And you know what? I think we are done.
So you might notice that I changed up the photo here. Uh, I found one that actually kind of went a little bit better. I love the colors, the pastel colors and the bunnies. I just think it kind of works better with the overall feel of my coffee station here. And you know what? I am really pleased with the way this came out. I, I love it. And I hope you guys do too. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that I've inspired you to maybe put together one of these adorable little Easter scenes in your corner in your kitchen somewhere. It really will put a smile on your face and just warm your heart. It sure does mine. So until next time, I hope you're all doing well and I will catch you again on the next one. Bye for now, everybody.